Hey guys, welcome back. Can you hear me, I wonder? Is the stream working okay, I wonder? I did check the internet earlier and it was a very good connection and it looks quite healthy as I'm sitting here and looking at the stream health at the moment. Good to see you, Blob. I know I'm really sorry about Tuesday, but I did have a problem with the hinge on the laptop and uh, it didn't take them long to fix it. They knew what it was. And I think something just needed tightening up, I think. But we're back. And uh, hopefully that problem is done and dusted. So we are back here at Burnley. And we do have problems. And if we have a look at our um, squad planner. Goalkeepers, well, we have Moorich. I wasn't... Um, actually that impressed with Moorich um, as a goalkeeper last season and I'd like to get a better goalkeeper in especially as he's on 43 and a half thousand in terms of his wages um, but I think that's probably going to be the last thing I look at one of the things about FM is that it doesn't pick on your goalkeeper until you're about two seasons into the Premier League um, it will give you a free pass in terms of your goalkeeper on your first season in the Prem. So it's not urgent, but if we can find a very cheap goalkeeper at the end of the transfer window, it might be something to look at. At right back, I have three players who can play at right back. Costinha, who we brought in last time, he's a very good fullback and hopefully will do a very good job there. And Connor Roberts, he is okay. He'll probably make a good deputy to Costinha. And given that we're not going to be playing a huge amount of games, he's not going to have to play too many times. And uh, Egan Riley, who just sits on the bench, he's still only 20 years old. He can be a good, decent backup there. At left back, I only have the one option at the moment, so we desperately need to get a left back in. And we do have one or two options that we're looking at, but we need to move quickly, I think, in the transfer window now, as it is the 10th of July already. And at centre-back, we really only have two at the moment. We need to get in another two. And possibly one of the centre-backs that we could think about bringing in could be would be able to play as a left-back. So that would give us some cover on the left. We do need to bring another left back in a squad player but then we'll need to bring in perhaps somebody who can play there in case of emergency so that would give us four we need to bring in two center backs one of whom can play as a left back and then we have the three players at the moment who can play in midfield all of them can play either as the dlp or as the center mid on support at the moment, I think I'd probably prefer, prefer to play Christian Bayek as the midfield centre on support and still looking to find the DLP. He needs to be a really good player in this tactic. So we'll see. We have to. I still haven't found that person. Midfield right, we have nobody at the moment, and so we're going to need to bring in two players. Hopefully, if we can find a midfield right who can also play as a midfield centre, that would be cool, um, because we can't bring in too many players. We don't have the money. And then at midfield left, we have two options, Churlinoff and um, Aspria, who we brought in last time. Um it's, it's he, they need to be better players than we've got there but while we've got those two options up there it's not absolutely urgent um but the shadow striker option is quite urgent we only have scott twine who can play there and he wasn't playing all that well last season and uh it didn't look to me like he was actually that good a player but up top we do have Therese Campbell and Veghorst now and those probably are our two best players along with the right back and Christian Bayek and so in terms of how the squad looks at the moment Campbell, Twine, Bayek and the two fullbacks and Nathan Phillips are probably our best players we definitely need to be looking at centre mid 
they're not great and a right winger and filling in the gaps really <laughs> that's what we have to be doing at the moment and so uh let's move on with what we are going to be seeing what is going to happen we're going to move on i'm going to wait just a couple of days and then uh we're going to just and yeah vitinho if you remember we um <laughs> we did decide to sell vitinho um when i'm not prepared to loan him out um and if we have a look at the uh the amount of interest he's considering a contract we got an offer of six mil for vitinho i was a bit disappointed that vitinho wanted to leave but hey ho he again wasn't the greatest of players last season if we can get six mil in for him we can get a decent player in somewhere else on the field and spend what money we've got with other players so i'm not prepared to loan him so um we are going to reject that loan offer i'm not really prepared to go into that he's considering a contract already and um oh we have one of these meetings you do have to go to these unfortunately even if you don't go to any other press conferences because the players morale is quite important here and you want him to to get off to a good start in terms of his morale i i want to have a look can i have a look at him first let's go and take a look at costas costinho um because I, I want to have a look at his happiness. Um, no strong feelings about how the squad feel about me. He's, he's his own player and has no real opinion of me. Um, and in terms of his report, what I'm interested in, is he going to likely settle in well? He tends to be a peripheral player in the squad. Um he should be put on an individual training to move to improve his defensive positioning. We can do that, and we can just put him on defensive positioning. His marking positioning and decisions. Well, I'm I'm not sure that those are really big deals, but um, we can certainly go along with what the assistant is saying. He doesn't seem otherwise to have anything that we really need to worry about um tends to be a peripheral figure in any squad so settling in it might take him a little bit of time and we probably need to say that um what is uh, his best position i'm going to say defender right and hopefully he'll be oh he's not too happy about that and this is why it's important hey gobby how are you doing mate <laughs> yeah, that's why it's really important to go to these meetings. We've got to get um, his his morale up here. Um, that's where we plan to use him. He's gone to neutral. Um, do you think um, he will overcome the language barrier? There are things we ha we'll help him. And now he's starting to get a bit happier. Um, will he be changing formation? If we need to tweak a few things, that'll be okay just say that even though you're not planning to do it um vitinho's out that's a stupid question because vitinho's been sold <laughs> and um um i'm not looking at it like that he's a signing that we wanted to make and how does he oh well of course he's going to uh, be definitely a part of uh, our long-term vision and his morale was pretty good at the end of that that meeting you need to he needs to settle in they didn't ask me the question interestingly enough about do you think you'll have a problem settling into the squad and um not surprisingly because he's a peripheral figure in any squad and so they weren't that interested they'll generally ask that question if you have a player who has trouble um possibly with moving abroad or he has language problems or he's just um his personality doesn't suit so always check that out 
before you actually go into the meeting. We did okay there. We didn't really have anything to worry about. He didn't like the fact he was going to play as a fullback, but that's where I need to use him. And um, let's go and have a look at what we've got on our short list. Um, and in terms of our targets that we've identified, um, we'll have a quick look at these. Gonzalo VR who is a centre mid. He's a centre mid on support. I think he's a very, very good player. 2.4 million. Got to be worth a punt, I think. Um, certainly better than anything that we've got at the moment. What I like about him is his mentals and his physicals. Um, he does have good mentals. Um, he's not... His tackling's okay, Um and he's not the most aggressive person um, that I would expect. But for the money, what do you expect? He also can play as a DLP if you can get someone in who can do both roles. Um, his passing is good, but his vision is a bit lacking. So someone definitely to keep on the radar. Uh, Frobotta has just been sold, so we'll remove him. And then there's this guy. Uh, Makata, a uh, bit more pricey, but uh, he is a good player and he would be my first choice, I think, as a centre mid support. Uh, I think he's technically decent, very physical player, and I'd probably need that in, in midfield. Hey, fam, how are you doing? Good to see you. I probably need someone who's strong, has got good fitness, good natural fitness, good stamina to be able to last out a game. He probably um, would be someone that I'd be very keen to bring in, uh, Makuta. I think we all agreed on that. But I think I need to focus mostly on left back, a left back and a right winger, especially a right winger. Um, I like this guy too, um, very cheap, getting him for a few million. He's got what I need from a fullback. He's not probably the greatest attacking fullback that you're ever going to see, but then we're only going to use him as a fullback on support. And so um, I don't see those as huge issues for a fullback on support. I'm more interested in the fact that he can tackle and that he can win the ball. His mentals look pretty decent, and I think he probably would be a good player. Um, and if we have a look at are there any other left backs we've got here, this guy looks a much better player, but he is definitely an attacking fullback. <laughs> and uh, whether or not he'll take to a defensive role, he is very, very cheap. I don't know what you guys think about him as a support fullback. I think he's probably a very, very good player and will definitely sort out the left-back problem. He can also play um, as a, um, a deep-lying playmaker as well. And so he's probably someone I should be thinking about bringing in. And he can also play as a centre-mid on support. Four-star player as a centre-mid on support. As he is a natural defender, can tackle, has got some marking, and he's also got attacking ability, then he might be a good signing. He also takes a very mean corner, and he can cross the ball. So I think maybe we should go make a bid for him. I, I quite like him. I can't say his name. Owejan, Thomas Owejan. He's 26 years old. You reckon, fam, Ojan? Yeah, let's go and make a bid for him. He's very cheap. So I think we could go and uh, ask the agent. He, uh, he's, he's quite keen. He might consider um, 6.4 to 8 million. Would want 31 to 41. That's okay. Ah, the unfortunately, he'll probably fa fail to gain a work permit. Um... Uh, so there's no way, um, and there isn't a work permit thing here. So 
it's not about his demands. It's not about his playing time. I have some concerns. If he's not going to get a work permit, then uh, there's not much point. What I want to try and do, if we go to um, the scout report, pour in the air. We don't know if he's going to get it, but we'll probably fail to get a work permit. Probably means he isn't. I, I have all sorts of problems like this when it comes to the transfer window. Um, and in fact, if you watch tomorrow's episode with Norwich, I've had a nightmare um, transfer window and it just was horrible. Um, I could not sign a player f to save my life. Uh, it, was, it was absolutely dreadful. And then we have this geezer who can play left or right. Um, can also play as a centre-back, but he's not a very good centre-back. Um, he just, to me, looks like a, a utility. Um, so, yeah, maybe maybe not at this point in time. Bobson is a centre-mid, deep-lying playmaker. He has the mentals that I need. Um, passing and vision could be better, but definitely has the mentals. He can also play as that centre-mid and would probably make a very good centre mid on support. He's also someone who we've got to consider. And then at right wing, we could think about this guy, um, Lainez. Not the greatest player in the world, and what worries me is he makes poor decisions, and he's not very good at teamwork, he's not very strong, he's not very aggressive. Um, I, uh, that's not going to work out either. So let's just move on because there's nothing much really that I'm kind of interested in at the moment in there. I would have got that Omishan, but if we're not going to be... Hi, Carla. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at my scouting. I think I've already got someone in Portugal. Yeah, I've already got someone in Portugal um, looking desperately. Um, we're just at the moment. It's kind of the game's kind of teasing me. It's not giving me what I actually need. Um, and so it's, it's, I guess, in a way that it's trying to make me panic and it will do that. Um, try to make you panic early on. You think, oh, time's running out. All these players are, all these players are leaving and signing for other clubs. It's going to try and make you panic. And if you panic, that's a recipe for disaster. The players they find will get better as the transfer window moves on. There's this guy, Jason Knight. Um, unfortunately isn't the greatest of wingers but he's a very very good young but a good center mid not good enough for my liking um we do have a young player here 23 years old can play the shadow striker role quite nicely also can play as the right winger and he looks fairly decent to me um, decisions again are what lets him down he's got poor decision poor positioning and so the game's just like almost there but not quite and what it wants me to do is to sign one of these players who are not quite right and Burmaster young young boy who's not really going to solve any of my problems who is this left wing and a right wing? But he is weak on his left foot, so he's not going to be much good as an inverted winger. Not to say I can't tweak the tactic and play a winger out here. Um, he has very good crossing. When we create the space, I suppose it doesn't matter how you use it. If you're going to have the fullback coming inside on the underlap, 
then it doesn't really matter how you use this space. So he could stay wider and get crosses into the box. It's an option. We have players up front who can head the ball. So if he can cross, hmm, it's a possibility. Um, does have a very good long shot. But his left foot would worry me. Being weak, coming inside, his left foot is weak. He'd have to be taking these shots with his right foot, um, which would mean that it's not natural to do that coming inside. Um, he could solve the left wing problem and be a backup on the right wing. He's an option, definitely an option. Let's put him on the target list. Let's put him on targets for a month. And then who is this guy? Oh, we have a playmaker here. Is he good enough? He can tackle. His marking isn't very good, but he can definitely tackle. He's aggressive. Has a degree of stamina and natural fitness. Decisions are good. He's very brave, good work rate, good sense of teamwork. He probably would be a very good player, good first touch. Passing is good. His vision isn't brilliant, but he's cheap. <laughs> and I think he would probably be a useful, useful player to bring in. But again, we don't want to just bring in the first person that we see, because as soon as I do, somebody better will come along. Um, Matty Longstaff is free, um, but he's not that great. Um, he lacks determination. His positioning is poor. Anticipation is poor. Um, if it was his brother, maybe we would consider him at that price, but not, not him, no. Um... Linz Foster, he's already gone to Preston. And this guy, who can play all over the place. <laughs> 21 years old, he's cheap, can play in all sorts of... Uh... There's a left-back that plays for Casapia. Is the future left-back for... Hey, Ikura, good to see you. Hope you are well. Hope you're doing really well. And Henry Lawrence is another guy who can play all over the place, um, which probably means that he's not the greatest player that you'll ever come across. Um, the as I'm still looking for first team players, and so none of these, especially a midfield right, um, and we're not finding him at the moment. We do have another option here, but he's another winger. Um, but he, and he's also not the greatest player that I've ever come across. If we're going to survive, we're going to have to find at least a first team that are capable of playing decent football. And let's have a look what's down here now. In terms of a right winger, there's nothing in there. Um, right wingers seem to be a little bit thin on the ground. For eight near matches here. 26 mil. Bit too pricey for my liking. Who's this guy? Hmm. Left foot is weak, so... Interesting. Three in progress here. No... Zero there. 26 in progress here. Scouts are not doing the greatest job, as usual. At least that's where we want to play him. That's his weakest position. Um, now there's a boy. Suarez. Suarez. Left foot is weak again. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, here's a Portuguese boy. 
he plays for who does he play for sporting good pace takes a corner can cross dribbling's good he could probably let's scout him let's see what he's about So it's not really going that well at the moment. He's probably going to develop into a good player. He's got four-star potential, bags of pace, but his mentals are really poor. And I'm looking for a first-teamer, not for, not for a young backup. Brian Reynolds, it's not his natural position. So, nothing as yet. And there are all these things that are happening. <laughs> it's uh, just uh, trying to get me to panic. And I'm not going to panic. It will usually work out in the end. Um, as you get towards the end of the transfer window, it'll usually work out. The game can't leave you with no players. So, it will find players for you in the end. Um, we just got to keep vigilant and and keep looking for them. I was uh, I do have to think about a left back though, don't I? Um, uh, Brandon Williams is too pricey. Definitely do need to think about getting a left back in. I don't think he's good enough. What do you guys think? Do you think he's good enough? Kirkin is going to be the first choice left back. Is he good enough to be a backup left back? What does the report say? He's consistent, enjoys big matches. Will find it difficult. Poor heading ability. Fairly susceptible to injuries. He's got four star potential. He costs 700,000. Um, as a backup fullback to Kirkin. Let's, uh, let's just make some inquiries here. 700 to 1.5. 15. Yeah, the wages are fine. Would likely gain. I think we'll bring him in. I think we'll bring him in. Let's make an offer for him. He's got a good pedigree. So why not bring him in? He's certainly do a job as a backup, I think. And he's a young boy. He's got... Um, he has potential. He's from Liverpool. He can play on the right in emergency. I think he probably would do an okay job. He can tackle. He has some degree of marking. His composure is not brilliant, but we'll just tell him to get rid of it. Don't hang about on it. He's not great in the air, but he has two good feet. Um, yeah, technique is okay. First touch needs working on. Ooh, I think he'll be okay as a backup. Ask um, Aspria to have a word with him. He's incredibly interested in coming to us. So let's let's bring him in. We do need to have a left back. He just wants to be a fringe player. So, okay. And we'll just negotiate a little contract. He's not cost us a great deal of money. Um... Let's bring him down a little bit. And he's accepted that. That's fine. He's a cheap option to bring in as a left back. And pre season, we can have a look to see. Bruno Costa, it's in your short list, has. Makuta. Yeah, Makuta, I'm very interested in signing. Um, he would be a very good player, I think, Makuta. 
uh, very, very interested. Who was the other one? Bruno Costa. Bruno Costa. Let's make an offer for Makita. See what we can do with him. He's he's a very good player. He's a center, perfect center mid, um, for me. I mean, he he's got everything. He's an all rounder. That's the that's the thing about him. The only thing that I need him to work on is decision making. His decisions are not good, but we put him on attacking movement. Then hopefully that should improve his decision making. Um, but apart from that, he's a very good all round player. Um, doesn't have the greatest of flair. He's just a workhorse, and that's what I need in the centre mid. Um, he can shoot though, <laughs> and given the given our finishing, he might be a good player to have in. I I'm gonna make an offer for Makuta. He's been on the radar for a while now. Um, so I just go in at nine fifty and see what they say. Let's see what they say. They want four mil up front and 3.7. Let's see if I can get that down a bit. Let's go to 3.2. And then let's get that down to about 3.2 as well. Let's see if they go for that. And they have. I could have gone down even lower probably. <laughs> but okay, we got a mil off there. So we've made a bit for a couple of players. I got, Where's that Bruno Costa then? Is he in the targets or is he in the default bruno costa can't see him no i can't see him maybe he was in the maybe he was in the um in the in the scouting report that i that i got but definitely not in the short lists um but we'll um oh he's interested but feels there's currently a more appealing option elsewhere. Um Well, Capitoline, you're having a laugh. Oh um he doesn't want to join PSV. He wants to he has more interest in joining Capitoline. Who are Capitoline? Siri are in Italy. Oh, interesting. He would want wages, 22. We'll give him a bit more than that. We've got plenty of wages. Um, so we'll give, we'll give him a little bit more than that. Uh, let's go with that. He wants 41.5. Let's be generous here. We'll say 46.5 mil, mate. I, I don't like this signing on fee of 1.5. So let's go for one mil and then 24 mil release clause. See if I can get that up a bit. And relegation release clause, he's not willing to negotiate on that. So let's, uh, oh, yep, he's accepted the deal. It's just, we just got to hope that it's better than what he's been offered. Bruno Costa. Is is he, I wonder, in one of these, did you see him? Bruno Costa. What does he, what position does he play, Bruno Costa? Just having a look through here. Hmm, interesting. He's not in that one. Well, this is all of them. I'd like to get João Pedro in if I could, but can't afford him. So Bruno Costa still can't find him. Let's search for him. I'm not something that I would usually do. But if you saw him on... My short list, Porto. He's playing for Porto. Is this the guy you mean? Yeah, this guy can play pretty much all over the shop. Would be a good cover. Can play in that shadow striker role. Doesn't have the best finishing in the world. 
but can play as a centre mid. He could play as the inside forward. Good player, you reckon? Let's uh, add him then. I don't normally do that, but because it's but because it's you, Carla, then uh, <laughs> because it's you, fam, then we'll go ahead and do that. Um, and, uh, yeah, you're like uh, <laughs> giving me all these names to going to signing. Um, yeah, but he's no good to me if um, he will fail a work permit. So <laughs> although he is very interested in joining Burnley, he's no good to me if... Uh, look at this. No players found. Where was this one? Where was he looking in? The problem is I don't know where he was looking at. Um, it just doesn't tell me where he was looking. And it doesn't tell me who it was. So let's go. Somebody must be without an assignment now. There are two of them. No, so I can see I don't know where he was now. Um, we'll keep the cheap scout. So we don't have anyone in Italy, do we? With a name like that, he should be good in Italy. Let's send someone to Italy. Hey, Blob, how are you doing? Um, so let's send him to Italy. Why not? Let's give him a, give him an assignment. And yeah, we'll go any position. Transfer alone, two and a half star minimum. Three and a half star minimum. Let's make a twenty nine, and we'll send him to Italy. Uh, okay, and who was the boy? This one. He can go off to Italy, search for players there. We'll just add work permit likely. And off you go, son. Get on the plane and go off to Italy and go and find some decent players. Found some decent players in Italy when I was at Elgin. Hi, Scouts. Hey, Trevor, how are you doing? Oh, boy. We're, we're doing all right here, Trevor. Um, still struggling to, to buy players. We've still got a very small squad. Um, VR. Who is VR? Oh, we did look at him, didn't we? Gonzalo VR. He's a, he's a DLP, isn't he? But his vision is poor. It put me off the fact that he doesn't have great vision. And hey, Angelo, how are you doing? Monchu. Uh, he is. He is a very good player, isn't he? Monchu. Good, excellent decisions. Good first touch. Good passing vision. Not brilliant. I. I think I need to make an offer for him, don't I? Jolson Fernandez. So, like, you're, you're asking me to buy the whole of Portugal. <laughs> I, uh, I just tend to leave this to my, um, <laughs> to my scouts rather than, uh, get people to find i've got i tell you what guys you are the greatest scouts in the world i think i'll have to hire you sack my scouting team and just use you as my scouts um i i like this boy i like this guy um Ooh, doesn't finish very well, but then he's he's kind of like going to be playing a defend role anyway. Tackling isn't brilliant, and his marking isn't brilliant, but he looks good as a DLP, and 
he could also play as my midfield centre on support. There's some. They're starting to find some very very good players now. Um, he's not expected to make a decision for a while yet, so we won't panic on him. <laughs> That's your guy Fatwao is your scout next to Jolson. I don't have a scout called Fatuau. <laughs> oh, guys, you, what are you doing to me? <laughs> so, okay, let's move on. Let's play a football match here. Let's go and play Accrington Stanley. I've got two offers out there. I've got Arroyo, who's just like a, a fringe player coming in, can play right or left back. And then Makuta. I want to see what Makuta does first. He solves a big problem. If Makuta comes in, if we go to um, add, where is Makuta? He solves a very, very big problem. He would be ideal. And then you've got people like Bastian and Cullen who can actually um, support... And I've still got Bayek as the DLP, Cullen and Bastion backups. Um, when you saw Jolson, Fatwa is next to him. Ah, in one of the... There's so many, there's so many names here now, it's difficult to... Um, That's my targets. This is my default. Hmm. Can't seem to see him. That's okay. No panic yet. No panic. And um, Cheltenham, yeah, I think we can say that's okay. Again, players are making a lot of bids. This Monchu has like a four and a half star potential. Has a lot of potential, that boy. I need a right winger desperately. Absolutely desperately need a right winger. And if we look at what I've got on the right wing, it's absolutely zero. I need a shadow striker desperately. Um, probably could do with a left winger. Uh, definitely need a left back. But we've got Arroyo coming in. Um, have accepted the offer from... Oh, Benfica. Huh. I'm going to let him go, I think. Who is this geezer? Castro. Argentina playing for Cork. <laughs> Another guy who has four and a half star potential. Oh, is he a player or what? We could play to make the shadow striker an attacking midfielder. But he still it's, it just lacks aggression for a shadow striker and lacks work rate. Um but as an attacking mid, nice player. Nice. Hmm. Who is this guy? See how they're suddenly starting to find these players. Oh, he looks like a shadow striker to me. There's the triumvirate of stuff that he needs. Um, passing is good. Again, is it's just his aggression that is the problem. But he can also play as an inside forward. I, he looks like a very good player as well. Um, let's add him to the short list. Let's complicate things. Definitely worth keeping an eye on. They are finding tons of players now. Absolutely tons of players. 
is one who can play all the way across the front line and can play as a right winger and is an inverted winger, has a very strong left foot. Ooh, I like him. I like him. Very good physicals. His mentals are really good for this role. The only thing is his long shots and his passing are not great. But apart from that, for that money, three and a half star potential, he can play across the line, can play on the left, can even play as a striker if necessary. Good advanced forward, I would have thought. Good backup advanced forward. It is your scout next to Jolson. Okay, let's have a look. Are you sure you're looking in the right place? I don't have a scout named Jolson or Fatwa. Guy Fatwa, it is your scout next to Jolson. Interesting. I'm not quite sure. But they are finding very, very good players now. Who is this guy? Striker. Don't need a striker. Not yet, anyway. But, I mean, look at these players coming in. Ooh, who's this? Oh, that's Brandon Williams. Can't afford him. Um, Diallo. He's going to be Manchester United, isn't he? Yeah, Manchester United. Inverted winger. I wonder if we can get him on, on loan. Do you think? Jolson Fernandez. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and have a look for him. Jolson Fernandez. Jolson Fernandez. Have I scouted him? Oh this guy. You think he's good? Sporting, 11 mil. Mm. Okay, I'm going to add him to the, the short list anyway, but he is a bit pricey. There are cheaper players, probably better players, but he does look quite good. He's got um, pretty much what he needs to be. The inverted wingers, long shots aren't great. His left foot isn't brilliant but yeah we've added him to the list now um diallo though see he looks like i wonder if man united would loan him out 25 mil so let, i'm gonna try and uh get him on loan Whew. that's a bit pricey optional future fee 41 mil in your dreams Ah, uh, can we bring this down a little bit? No, they're not willing to go down on that, are they? Let's go back to... Yeah. Like, they put that up because they didn't go for that. Okay, so we're going to go with Diallo as our right winger. He's a very good player. Yeah, he should be able to do the job. He has a very strong left foot, and that's what really I want. And I just hope that that hasn't broken the bank. <laughs> That'd be like a disaster. Um... Who is this? Who is this? A striker. Inside forward on support or a striker. Oh, yeah, he's a good player, but uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on him. Well done, Espria. We should at least then have some players crossing the door. And that's, um, I don't want to buy them all right at this moment in time. 
Um, but I do need to get some in just to give us some depth when we're praying these friendlies. At the moment, if something happens to Scott Twine, I'm in real trouble. So we do have to get some players in. Recommend Mbappe. Never heard of him. Who does he play for, that Mbappe? Never heard of him, mate. <laughs> Uh, have you got have you got the money you can lend me to buy Mbappe? <laughs> Colin have made an offer for Montchu. Seven point two five million. <sighs> I do like him. I do like him. But I'm gonna run out of time with him. I think, and we've just um bought. Hopefully, we've brought in Makuta. So we we don't want to overload a certain area when we have um, big holes to fill in the squad. Why is my assistant resting these players? What is the matter with him? He wants them to rest. We don't want too much of this going on. So... Uh, Otherwise, I'm going to get annoyed with that. I think that's probably my fault because I didn't fill in the schedules according to who we're playing. Fatau is the best African player. Very cheap and left-footed. Hmm. Let's go back to Fatau then. I did add him to the shortlist, didn't I? Oh, he'd be on the targets, wouldn't he? Fatal. I thought I added him to my shortlist. Oh, what was his name again? Fatal. I might need a striker. I mean, I'm not saying I have great strikers. Fatal. Is that him? No. Where's he? He's like disappeared. What's his first name again? Fatal. I'm sure I put him on my on my short list. Fatau's not coming up. Fatau. Oh, not Farau. Fatau. We've got Obeng Fatau. That's not him, is it? Yeah, there's Fatau sporting. Let's give him a scout then. Nineteen years old. He said ten million. Not cheap. But I mean when you think about it, you can get him for um can get him for five million up front, maybe four and a half million up front. Vitinho is on the way out of the door. So he was starting to whinge a lot, that boy, and he didn't play extremely well. Um, so, yeah, happy to see him go in the end. Whinging player who doesn't um, actually perform very well. Nah, I'm not interested. So we're going to play a game of football now, give us something to watch. McNally, I'll go with yeah, whatever you say. It's just a friendly. No, I don't want to go to a recruitment meeting. Complete waste of time. Who is he? Yeah, he's like my young winger, isn't he? Do I want to let him go at this point in time? No. Let's just reject that for the moment yeah well 
Have I got no other choice than to attend? Must respond. I, uh, I don't want to attend. Friend meeting. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm busy, so we'll have to postpone the meeting. <laughs> So you have, you've got to say, oh, Gobby, you've got, um, who is that? Who is it you're talking about? Gobby plays for you at Gladback. Is this this Fatua? Fatua, Fatou that you're talking about, Gobby? Oh, Leonardo. Okay. Um... Yeah, it's a, the striker though. I've got Therese Campbell and I've got Veghorst. <clears throat> and really, it would probably be wasting money. Unless I'm going to sell Veghorst, it would probably be wasting money. Um, so Veghorst, yeah, we could get 30, 32 to 38 million for Veghorst. Um, <clears throat> Unless I'm going to sell Veghorst, which it might come down to that at the end of the day. Um, so at the moment, though, Striker's not really high up on my list. Um, this guy is, however, because we need a right winger. And so he's um, decided 1.5 we've lost on that deal, which is OK. That's a, I see that as a pretty good deal, actually. Just depends on how it's affected the wage budget. Um, we have a committed spend of 711. So it is eating up our wage budget. We have to be careful in terms of the wage budget. There are probably players that can go. Um, so he's happy to come. Okay, so we need to get him on the pitch. Have a look at how he how he plays. Um, I was hoping that the other boy would come in. Um, Makut Makuta would come in as well as well as Arroya, but they're dragging their feet a little bit. So we've we've got three players coming through the door, which makes me feel a little bit happier. Yeah, he's um. I just got him in on loan. I like the look of Diallo. As soon as I looked at his attributes, I liked the look of him. Looks like a decent player. But young, so he's not going to be the, the full ticket yet. Um, but he does look like a very good player. He's a five-star potential. Um, good technique. He's got a good first touch. His dribbling is excellent. Um and using him as that right winger. It's not his, his main position. He wants to play higher up. But he could certainly do this job. Um, and I think would do a good job there. Let's hope that it's a good signing. Churlinoff is not fit yet. None of them are, I don't think. So let's bring in Diallo. We still only have 11 and 8, 19. With the other two players, that will take us up to 21. So we're not actually doing that bad. Um, we just need players to come in. We need definitely need um, a centre-back because we only have two. And McNally's not the greatest centre-back in the world. Um, Kirkin and Costin... Costantinia are very good fullbacks. Phillips is a very good centre back. McNally's the weak link in there. Uh, Bayek is very, very good at DLP. And when we get our other uh, boy in there, Makuta, that will be a good central midfield. Um, Zauri is not, not a good option out there. And Aspria is probably better. On the wing and twine as Therese Campbell or Veghorst, the jury's out. Um, if Campbell plays well enough, then 
then why not for Campbell? He's still, he hasn't gone down in star rating since Veghorst has come back. And he did have, he did score 16 goals in the second half of the season, um, last season. I, I don't think we should have anything really to worry about at Crington Stanley. But I do want to just make sure we do what we normally do. And we'll just, because they're probably not very good players. So we'll get the team you, oh, not him. They're playing with the three at the back, are they? So we'll just get the team used to doing what we normally do. And same for the the wing back. We'll put him onto his right foot. Liam Doyle. Liam Coyle. He's not that great, is he? Um, we'll just close him down. Close him down. And then Teddy Jenks has a weak left foot. Um, and we'll tight mark him. Tight mark him and put him onto his left foot. I don't think we really need to worry too much about these boys. Um, hard tackle him. I really don't think that we need to worry too much about them. Uh, he has a weak left foot. We'll put him on his left foot and hard tackle him. Hard tackle him, not easy tackle him. Left foot, I think it was, wasn't it? Mooney. Yeah. And then the striker has good pace, actually. He's probably not a bad player. Finishing, good finishing, good composure pace but it's his mentals where he's all over the place i think yeah we'll just tight mark him ask my players to get used to doing this um places up for grabs they didn't respond to that oh, i'd like to actually go a little bit more attacking we have gone positive um I'm not gonna play I'm gonna play with a high press press them more often. I don't really need to stay on the feet. We'll counter press. We should be able to do that. And yeah, that's fine. I don't want to waste time. Dribble less, be more expressive. That looks good to me. <clears throat> Did many players... Yeah, from, um, there was so much dead wood in that Burnley team. I don't even know how we managed to get promotion. It was touch and go, I think. And they, there was so much dead wood in that Burnley team. I, I decided to get rid of most of them. Um, but a lot of them were old and just wanted to leave for new challenges. It was really, it was a really poor team. They would have been, I don't know if they would have got a single point in the, in the Prem if we'd kept the same team. And we just need to uh, see how these boys get on. I'd like a better season from Twine. Twine was my great white hope. He was dreadful. Um, I hope he has a better season. Uh, but we're bringing in players who are better now. And Aspria is one of them and we are ahead. So, yeah, movement is good. We just need to get them used to playing together. And maybe we can put a good team together. And we had, yeah, we in the end, I think I had a squad of 14 players that actually we were planning to keep and most of those weren't first team players. You got players like Bastien and Cullen. They're not first team players by any stretch, um, but they're worth they're worth keeping around um, because you don't want to be bringing in important players as backups. Um, and that's why it's really important to get the right person for that centre mid spot because I don't want to have to bring another one in now, and then they're competing for, for places. And we should be able to pick up that loose ball. Cullen, you've got work to do, my son, if you want to stay in this team. 
passing is crisp, it's nice, it's not, it doesn't look laboured. It's not exactly setting the, setting the field on fire though, but that's a nice pass. <laughs> oh boy. And we're looking better actually than we did last year. Um... It was sometimes laughable what we were doing last year. I really don't know how that team managed to to get second in the championship. Championship's a tough league. And we, I don't know, tactically, I guess, we, we started playing this asymmetric system about halfway through um, the season. They went through a bad spell where they couldn't, um, they couldn't play it. I hope better finishing. Um, Therese Campbell got 18 goals or so at the in the second half of last season. Veg Horst has got to be a decent player. Um, so he's back. Maybe better finishing a spree. We still need to find a shadow striker. So I'm hoping that finishing is going to be a lot better. Makuta, I think, has a long shot on him. So, I think maybe, yeah. It can't be as bad as it was as it was last season. Um, I need a little bit more from this team. They're not setting the world on fire here. Um, although, the, there is this low block. We, we need to create some space, maybe. If we're struggling, we've... To get goals, we need to create some space. We can either go wider, or what we possibly could do is pull that line back to standard. That will create space between the lines. We'll try that one. Um, but at the moment, although we're getting shots on target, we're really struggling to break them down, and it shouldn't be a problem. So pulling them up. Pulling their line apart might be the answer. I don't know, might be. We might have to go a little bit wider if this doesn't work. Teams who play um, with this low block that they're playing, there's only two ways you can actually do it, and that's to either stretch the game horizontally um, or vertically, vertically, and if you either way, you're going to open up space. Um, and if you still struggle to break them down, you have to do both of them. But you have to have the players that are good enough to do it. A spree, uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> Come on, we can do better than this. Scott Twine is a six point five again. Maybe he doesn't like playing as a shadow striker. Um, maybe he's going to be better as a winger. Ah, uh, finally, 2-0, McNally. Set-piece goal. But, we, we, I mean, this is, again, we should be dominating. At and Stanley, never heard of him. Oh, Bradley Dack. I, the number of times I've signed Bradley Dack over the last few years... It's nobody's business. <laughs> Bradley Dack. Who is he playing for? Um, Portsmouth. Was he playing for Portsmouth? People were saying... A lot of people saying Bradley Dack. I um, can't remember who he was playing for. Complacent. Um, do, 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 do. Don't let your performance drop. There's a lot of players on that pitch who are complacent. So let's go and do the second half. It's fairly comfortable. It's not dynamite, but it is early in the season and you shouldn't be too hard on them. Uh, Accrington and Stanley are not doing anything, are they? Nah. They haven't had a shot on target, a shot on goal yet. But oh, here they come. That's it, get your foot in. Who is that? Phillips. I knew he was going to be a good signing. 
So I still need another center back. Still need. Uh, still need a right. Is there no a left back? Still need. Still need another right winger. Oh, Campbell, come on. Get a grip of yourself. I'm going to shout at him. Demand more. He's got to get a grip of himself. Oh, boy. <laughs> I wonder if it's been just look at this twenty shots, only seven on target. What have the what has FM got against Burnley in terms of finishing? <laughs> just doesn't like Burnley. I think I could get like all the best finishers in the world in, and they probably still wouldn't be able to score because it's Burnley. Hlozek. Yeah, I think I've signed him before, Hozek. Ah, come on, Campbell. I've just given you a rollicking. Now show me what you can do. He can't do it this time either. <laughs> 20 shots. 21.8 on target. Our XG is 2.04, so it's going with the XG. But it's not good enough against this team. Struggled to beat Carlisle last time, and we're also struggling again today. There's a lot of complacency, though, isn't there? There's a lot of complacency in this team. I found that last season, that they were getting complacent a lot. That's better. Now that is better. See, the new boy. Now that's how you do it. That's how we play this game. And Campbell's got himself a goal, has he? And that is that is how this game works. It's the switch over to the left. Now we've got an overload three on two there. Doesn't need it. Just slips it in. That's how this is supposed to be played. Let's go make a couple of changes. If I've got any subs, have I? Uh, let's give Peacock Farrell a game. Egan Riley can have a game. Can come on. McNally and Phillips. Do I have another right back? Yeah. So let's uh, take off McNally. Connor Roberts can come on. Don't have another left back, do I? Let's bring on Churlin off. Zauri. Diallo only a 6.6 .6 in his first game. Bastian. And Vakehorst. We should be doing a lot better than this. This should be a, like one of those 10, 10 nil games. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Blob. The, once the season starts, and they're looking at the the opposition. Um, and I think complacency might be gone. This is interesting that they've stolen the match momentum. Um, they still haven't had a shot. But... Uh, they took the match momentum for 10 minutes there. Uh, nothing seems to be. I mean, 23 shots, 9 on target. We're under, well, just overperforming the XG just by a little bit, but not much. Um, average rating is good. Um, one more. Come on, give us one more goal. Twine, he's got 17 free kick taking. Can't score a free kick. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. He's done that quite a lot last season. He must have been practicing on hitting the crossbar with his free kicks. Uh, 
Oh, nothing much happening there then. Nathan Phillips is getting very tired. But it's coming to a close. 3 0. Okay, it'll be good for their morale, but I'm not too happy with that. Not too happy. <laughs> yeah, let's say I'm happy even though I'm not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, Blob. It's a, it's a big, it's a big improvement, and we do have an injury. Scott Twine is out. That's why I definitely need to bring players in, don't I? Definitely need to bring players in. These two, just waiting on these two. Um, can he play? He can cover as the shadow striker. Um, but I definitely would like to get these boys in as fast as possible. If that's at all okay with you, FM. But I know what they're going to do. They're just going to hang on and hang on. Oh, here we go. Arroyo is at least coming in. But uh, he's not the one that I wanted particularly. Um, Diallo... Uh, can we expect? He's a good player. I'm happy to have him here. He's expressionless. I have a great respect for him. Expressionless as well. He did. Actually, he's a miserable old bugger. That Diallo, isn't he? <laughs> Just like, uh, oi, <laughs> get a bit happier. Um... Fans think this guy is a good player. The fans like him, which is interesting. He is a decent player, I think. He's got work to do on, on some stuff, but if he could get his composure up, he, he is a decent player. He's not brilliant, but the fans like him. And auto number. And finally, we don't need to worry too much about squad re registration at the moment. But let's do it anyway. Oh, he did turn out to be very happy with that. Because in the, in the actual meeting, he was expressionless. And this doesn't happen often to me. I don't often get these right where the players actually respond. But he's actually very pleased. Let's have a look at his happiness. Would prefer to be part of a social group. Well, he's only been here a couple of days. and No strong feelings. and He's his own player. Another one of those. Uh, so where are we now in terms of the squad? Goalkeeper still the same. Right back. Arroyo can play as a right back. Um, I prefer to have him on the left, I think. So Arroyo. So we've got two on the left now. I still want another one. But hopefully I can find a centre back who can play on the left. And then we need to bring in another centre back. I have no... I don't want to be using them as centre-backs. They're not good enough. Um, we're still in the same boat with our midfield. Hoping that he comes in sooner than later. We have a one right winger now. Who can also play as the shadow striker. He can also play as the left winger. And we He can also play as an attacker. But, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. It will come. We will have a look at the next um, scouting meeting. We'll go through what they've got. But it's coming. It's definitely coming. In terms of the squad size at the moment, how many we got now? Got 11, 14, 17, 19, oh, 20. So 22, if you have got all the positions 
covered. 22 or 23 is a good squad size if you're not in Europe. If you're in Europe, you probably need a better... The squad is starting to look balanced. We still need the centre-back and this midfield, of course. And Scott Twine is injured, isn't he? So we need to bring somebody in. Is Campbell... Campbell, uh, he's just a right winger, isn't he? What about Vekost? Just a straightforward striker. We'll give him a game next time. See how he gets on. Ah, 26th of July. The work permit for Makuta. So we have to get through Bristol Rovers before he will join. And he will join here. And then that sorts out that midfield area. Egan Riley. Oh, do I want him to stay? I could actually use that wage money, couldn't I? If I go back. Egan Riley. If I let him go, I'm going to let him go. Why not? He needs game time. Benfica have signed Monchu. Good old Benfica. He is a centre-back, isn't he? Good player. Good in the air. Good passing. Good tackling. <clears throat> good first touch. Uh, he could be something that I need. Forty-seven to sixty. <clears throat> he could be somebody that I desperately need, but we do have a problem with our wage budget. Although we have forty-one mil here. We do have a problem with the wage budget. Who is this? Chiquinho. Winger again. Left winger. It's a shame he's not a shadow striker. Jacob Muller. Shadow striker. Hmm, possibly. He's more of a or Gabia central defender. Well, he's more like it, isn't he? Pretty decent, but not very tall. We need tall defenders. Good marking, good tackling, good heading. A jumping reach is good. And good. I wonder if I can get him on loan. Wonder if I can get him in on loan. Optional future fee. What's his uh, transfer fee? Hmm, could possibly buy him. Um, don't know. Don't know. We could possibly uh, possibly buy him. Let's uh, make an offer. Let's go two and a half mil. And add two installments of five mil. Good show. That's good. Oh my lord, there's some good players, Carl. I just need to slow down. There's some very good players coming on along at the moment. Some very good players. Some absolute gems appearing. Uh, 
Okay. Has doubts. Ooh, 58 to 73. Oof. We are doing these things. Don't you worry about it. Once a two million signing on fee, sell on percentage fee. That's okay. I'm prepared to go along with that. Quite happy to do that. He's a very good player. So with Makuta coming in, like we do have to balance the books somehow. Which means I haven't got as much money as I thought I had. So I do have to balance the books. But we'll do that bit by bit. Who is this guy? No, we've gone for somebody else. We've gone for somebody else, I'm afraid, mate. Let's play Bristol Rovers and then we'll get Makuta in and the squad will start to take shape then. We should be in a better position to know who we want. We only want to bring in three more players, I think. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's get this game done. In fact, in fact, what I might do, oh, we'll wait till we go to the match. Let's go to key highlights for this one. I want to get this game done. I want to start, yeah, I think I should be saying that because I don't like this complacency that they're showing. Campbell, if the assistants put Campbell up top again, is he, instead of Veghorst. If he wants to play Campbell, then it is possible that we should sell Veghorst. Veghorst's wages are huge. So that might save us a bit of money and if we can get 25 mil for him. That would be very useful cash. Uh, at the moment, we're not playing too well again. There's something about this Burnley team. Maybe they just don't like this tactic. Like, every team I've managed have taken to this tactic so quickly. But not Burnley. And Bristol Rovers are giving us a game here. And that's not very clever. What are we playing? I want to press. Let's get at them. We're giving them too much respect. Let's get at them. Bristol Rovers are absolutely hammering us. <laughs> that is so weird. And it's probably because we're not being positive enough. I wanted to train him with this low block. And this Sam Finley is a nuisance. So let's do something about him. We have got the ball. But it's no good having the ball if we're not being creative. And we're not being very creative. And I need to shout at them. This is not good enough. Bristol Rovers are beating Burnley. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What do you do about this team? Burnley was supposed to be a very easy save. Has not turned out to be that at all.
And that's the best highlight for Burnley. <laughs> that's all we've done. A simple free kick header straight at the goalkeeper. That's it. This team going to go berated. And Arroyo. But he's got Arroyo playing at centre-back. He's probably because the team's all over the place. Oh, do we have a chance? Campbell's made it 1-0. But I think he was offside there. But hasn't been given offside. So we are a goal up after all that. I think that Bristol Rovers will consider themselves very unlucky. A good ball over the top. Oh, I think he was offside, you know. That pass from Aspria to Campbell. He was offside, if you ask me. Let's have a look at this. Oh, touch and go. Hmm, this guy, we have quietened him down a bit. Is he set pieces, though? Yeah, he's a set piece guy. We've quietened him down a bit. Let's get another one. Oh, yeah, oh, off the line. I'm sure that went in, referee. What's happened there? Oh, it's been given offside, is it? This is not good enough, boys. Not good enough. Sam Finley is uh, the only player that they've got and we're struggling to contain him. But we do have a free kick. And Dalio Diallo into the box. Bristol Rovers look very, very comfortable to be fair. And they still have these finishing problems. Nice from Roberts. Oh, Campbell. Exquisite. Exquisite from Campbell. So 2 0 up. But uh, Bristol Rovers, we should be beating these like 6 0, not 2 0. But we'll take that. I think probably we need to give Veghorst some minutes. So. Give it another five minutes, we'll make some substitutions. We know Campbell's playing okay. We haven't seen Veghorst yet. I don't need to see it again. Is there anybody left in the... No, nobody's here. Oh, well, after Bristol Rovers, then we'll call it a day. Nobody's actually in at the moment. I'm talking to myself again. So here is Zauri. That's not a good pass. That's what he was playing like last season. Still a bit worrying. But it could be they're just not used to each other. There's going to be a lot of changes. Um, Campbell, Zauri. Put it away, Sam. That's better. 3 0 now. It could be there's just pre season. They're not fit. Their passing is good. They're passing the ball around really nicely. And it's looking like how this tactic plays. It's getting better all the time. They're actually using that inside pass. And this tactic uses that a lot um, to get behind the defence. OK, let's make some changes. So what do you make of this Burnley team's chances then, Gobby? Do you think they they have a chance of survival? To be frank, I'm a bit concerned. We need better players. Although this is not um that wasn't a great starting 11. That wasn't the first starting 11. Let's bring on Nathan Phillips for Arroyo. No, he he's the fit one for McNally. I want to give Veghorst a run out. Costello can come on on the left. Twine is still injured. I don't want to risk him. Cullen, Bayek, and Cherlinoff. There we go. That's all the changes I can make for now. Yeah, the Prem is going to be really, really difficult. The tactic is going to have to be 
working really well. I think we can look forward to losing games in the first six weeks. I think because we're going to bring in so many players, Gobby, it's going to it's going to take them time. So I I really don't think um, I don't think they're going to be setting the world on fire for the first month. Now, it, it is a good tactic. It it works absolutely delightfully. Um, but they actually, like I said in the in the in the video, the tutorial, you have to have the players to actually play it. It's you can't. Um, do I know I've only got Scott Twine on there? You can't like expect players to actually just fit into this. It doesn't work like that. There's only one team that were able to do that, and that was Preston. I don't know if you remember when we first introduced it to Preston. I got those two draws right at the beginning, and that was all it took for them to get used to it. And after that, they just took off. <coughs> they took to it like ducks to water. And it's just because it creates space over here. And once that space, and you can see how much space is on the right-hand side. And once it's switched, it's deadly. But they're not quite playing it properly yet. And I wonder, is it because I've... No, I am not focusing play. I'm going to just, for the last five minutes, focus play down the left. <coughs> and that should drag players to the left, which will mean we can use the space on the right then. That's, if it's not working, that's often something that I will use. Focus play down the left, so it just drags everybody, the opposition included. And then you've got two players out on the right who generally are free. So let's see if that's what's going to happen here. Or a Bristol Rovers going to score a goal. So if we can win this ball back, <coughs> then it's down the left. It should always start down the left. Oh my good lord, he's got acres of space there. I thought oh, they've he's give, they've given Bristol Rovers a consolation, have they? No, he's been given offside. Oh, it's miles offside. Miles offside. 4 0. Yeah, we'll take that at the end of the day. Espria played well. Costinho played well. We'll take a 4 0. I just want to get Makuta through the door now. I think 26th of July, was it? His work permit. Who's that? Oh, yeah, the central defender. And once we get him in and Makuta, the team's going to start to look a little better. In fact, a lot better. We're just going to have to balance the books, juggle the books a little bit. Uh, send me a summary. Egan Riley has gone out. That's good because that frees up 7,000 in wages and he needs game time. He's 20 years old. He needs to be playing and he's not going to get game time for us. He's not good enough. Um, we need better players than him. But I just want to get to the 26th, I think his work permit was. Oh, make captain. Vug, veg, horse, make captain. I'm going to delay that decision. Yeah, I will have a look at the set piece takers. Suitable penalty taker. Okay. Um... Zori endurance. Uh, run with them. I hate those, but avoid weaker foot. Yeah, okay, we work on his weaker foot. 
Uh, that runs with the ball down the right or left. I always avoid doing that. Because once they do that, they won't run with the ball in any other position on the pitch. It just doesn't make any sense to me that. Okay, we'll do that one. We'll do that one. And start developing his weaker foot. No argument with that at all. And come on, come on, come on. I want to get to. Who is that injured? He's got twine. He's coming back to fitness, though. Gabia move delayed by a work permit. Who's Matteo Gabio? Oh, the. Uh, so he is coming then. And that'll be by the 29th of July. So that is good news. He is coming. And Makuto has signed. That's good. And he was cheap, and he's a very good player. I bet the finances now, though, have gone into the red. Yeah. <laughs> into the red. But we don't want to panic yet. It's only 9,000. But once the center, central defender comes in, it becomes a problem. Not that we can't deal with that. So, Makuta has signed... That is good news. Ask be it to welcome him. I ought to decide who's going to be the captain. Um, Veghorsty's not been around. How can we say Veghorst? What are the fans saying? They're very happy with such a talented and important player. Slightly concerned of the number of players who can play defensive midfielder well he's not going to play defensive midfielder yeah i know <laughs> i know gobby it's like oh my god so are you going to do a um, live stream at some point gobby I'd, I'd watch it i'll come along and watch you um live streaming is it's like so i didn't think i would be able to do it and i still don't think i'm very good at it but it's such good experience to do this live. Should give it a try. Um, let's have a look. So what do I want to do? Let's have a look at the team now. And uh, we can bring Bayek into, into the DLP role. And now we have Makuta who can come into that center mid role. Or does he want to... Let's play him as a box-to-box. -box. They're very much of a muchness. So how is the team looking now? Costinho, and then we'll have Kirkin on the left. McNally and Phillips. McNally is the left footer, isn't he? Don't think you're good enough, what, presenting-wise... I don't think I'm good enough presenting wise either, but people do come and watch. Um, and it bumps your hours up, it bumps your watch time up. I think there's only me and you here now, Gobby, isn't there? And that's, um, it's really important to get watch time up. And people coming in, um, they will bump your watch time up. Even if they just come in for a few minutes. I want to get him into the. Under 21s, get him out of the way. So the squad now is taking shape. Campbell will be up front. Diallo, Aspria, Twine at the moment is still going to be there. And Aspria in here. Squad is starting to take a little bit of shape now. I think you could do it. I mean, I think it, it's just practice doing... Um, Doing live stream is just practice, and I I'm terrible at it. But the, I sometimes feel comfortable doing it. Sometimes it feels like God. What am I going to say next? <laughs> and uh, you just got to be yourself and chat to people as much as you can. I'd come along and watch you and support you. I think you should give it a go. Pick a team and 
and do it. I think you could do it. Okay, so yeah, we're looking good. And once we get that new central defender in, we will then have tw 21 players. I think the squad is starting to take shape. I'll only need to bring in two players possibly after that. And then we let them play. Could possibly sell Veghorst. Yeah, I'm my biggest, I'm my own biggest critic. <laughs> and, uh, but oh, I don't know. It's it's a difficult thing. This YouTube, very difficult thing. Um, but I I do think that I need to take my channel into a different direction. Doing these um watch alongs, I don't think that there's a big audience for them anymore. Um, yeah, I was um I started. 15 years ago I started as an English teacher abroad and I became director of studies academic director um, so yeah I was in languages for a long time um, 16 years in total until I got the dicky heart and had to come home so yeah was doing that for a long time So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how it's going. Still need a Shadow Striker. Definitely need a Shadow Striker. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know where that came from. I just think that I'm not the FM Rage or a Lulu Joe kind of person where I jump up and down and get excited and swearing and all that sort of stuff. I'm just not that type. I'm just kind of meticulous about what I do rather than getting overly excited. I get overly excited when things are going wrong, when things are not working out. And that's frustration and everybody feels frustration in this game. Um, Aspria, though, is possibly not what I was hoping that he would be. Um, wants to give his players an inverted winger. Is it possible that we can switch that? His finishing's decent. I don't know why. Yeah, let's play him as an inside forward. His finishing is good enough. He should be doing better than he is. Okay, so I think I'll call it a day there. I'm pretty happy with how things are working out at the moment. We need to get maybe three more in and then we'll start. But we can wait for those. That's the good news now. We can wait until the players come in and then go for the big players, the three big players at the end. Um, thanks for coming, Gobby. And um, if anybody else is here, thank you guys. Oh, Fum is still here. Thanks, Fum. Um, thanks for coming along. We are coming along nicely here. I think we have the makings of a squad. It's not quite right yet, but it's getting there. And once, um, I mean, this boy who is coming in, Gabia, when he comes in, then it's starting to look like we've got a team that could survive. Um so yeah i'll be perfectly happy with him coming in do we need four center backs probably not three center backs for 40 games will probably be enough so we will see you guys very soon thanks for coming along thanks for supporting the channel really do appreciate it means the world to me and we shall see you next time was going to ask about your setup sometime. I'm just working off a um, a gaming laptop. It's a Chinese laptop uh, selling like hotcakes in Southeast Asia where I was living. It's very, very fast, very powerful laptop. Um, and uh, yeah, it works absolute treat. I needed to have... Um, I wanted it on a gaming laptop rather than on a PC because of its portability and I was moving around um, quite a bit. I'm using a HyperX microphone, um, uh, which is it's just good enough for this kind of thing. 
Um, I just have a little monitor for all the other bits and bobs while I'm uh, um, while I'm streaming, so that I can see the chat and what have you. And then I've just got a little makeup light, basically for lighting. Um, nothing expensive, nothing too over the top, but it does the job. Um, so yeah, my my setup is an it's just an MSI gaming laptop really cheers angelo nice to see you mate and hopefully we'll see you all um we are getting closer to the season starting season will begin in a few weeks we've got a couple more friendlies to get through we have leeds liverpool chelsea man united oh my good lord that couldn't get any worse could it <laughs> except if you stuck city instead of leeds <laughs> that would have ah uh, i suspect we might win the game against leeds though because of the other teams coming up behind it um so we're getting there and the squad is getting there we just need uh just a little bit more time to get it in shape so I shall see you all very, very soon, guys. Yeah, I know. What a, what a schedule that is. <laughs> well, I did say to you, Gobby, earlier that um, <laughs> we can probably not look forward to a, the first month being very successful while the, all these boys get used to each other and playing together. But now, for sure, that is a dreadful opening. So morale manager becomes very, very important. All right, guys, thanks for coming, and we'll see you all next time on Tuesday. And um, watch out for a brand new thing that I'm uh, going to be starting very soon. I'm hoping to get the first one up on Sunday. So the channel might be taking a little change of direction. We're still going to go with the live stream Tuesday, Thursday nights. We're still going to be doing probably only three times a week for the play along because it's just not getting views but we'll do it three times a week for those 150 who are coming along um interestingly i did the tactics video and that's nearly got a thousand views in a couple of days it, it just seems to me people want tips rather than doing watch alongs but i don't want to stop doing the watch alongs because i like them um just might go in a different direction over the weekend see what happens take care gobby and um when's your next video i think your next video is out tomorrow yeah i shall look forward to that and uh we'll see you guys next week have a good night have a good weekend see you tuesday <laughs>